I'm eating lemonade drips. This is great. Hack along, hack along. Welcome back, hackers. It's your girl. Goldie, and today we're gonna be making some awesome beach party DIYs. I love hacks. I see the world as just one big hack waiting to happen. Let's hack your world. So uh, you might be asking what this is. The Loch Ness AC. Pretty cool. For this DIY, you'll need a cooler, an elbow pipe, a little fan, and duct tape. Grab an adult to help you cut out two holes at the top of the cooler. One that fits the elbow pipe and the other that fits the fan. Then attach the pipe and the fan to the holes with duct tape. I thought it kind of looked like a sea monster, so I turned mine into Loch Ness. Okay, now just fill the cooler with ice and turn on the fan when you're relaxing at the beach. So, the first thing you want to do to get this puppy on is this little on and off switch. And you're going to pick off because you want to turn it on. Wait. No way. Loch Ness! Such a gossip. It kind of smells weird. <laughs> Next time I'm going to use a bigger fan. This feels great, but you got to get the whole body. Get the whole enchilada. Hello. 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 Wait. I feel pretty cool right now. <laughs> Still smells weird though. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Let me put her away. <laughs> Moving on. I'm gonna show you how to make your own DIY beach party speaker out of an old Pringles can. I mean, the best part about this DIY is you gotta eat some chips beforehand. It's an excuse to eat chips. What can I say? Time to. Time to turn up with the stackable speaker. <laughs> For this DIY, we'll need an empty Pringles can, four beads, five sheets of toilet paper, and glue. Have an adult help you cut a slot at the end of the can near the tin bottom. You can measure with the bottom of your phone. Now, take the can and flip it over on the side without the slot. Glue the beads on for feet so the can won't roll around. Then grab the toilet paper and gently stuff it in the can. Place your phone in the slot and press play. Now it's a party. And for our last DIY, my favorite. I am so excited. Ice cream. I made ice cream. Made it. Like I handcrafted this mermaid, mermaid, mermaid ice cream. Straight from like ocean to table. For this DIY, you'll need milk, whipping cream, sugar, vanilla, salt, a medium mixing bowl, Ziploc bags, food coloring, and rubber gloves. First, you'll mix together the milk, cream, sugar, and vanilla in a bowl. Next, add your ice and salt into a big bag. The salt lowers the freezing temperature of the ice so it'll turn into a super cold water mixture. Since I'm doing three different ice cream colors, I'm gonna split my milk mixture into three medium Ziploc bags. Then add our food coloring and seal each bag. Then put the sealed medium bags inside of the big bag with the ice mixture and just start shaking lightly. You can move it side to side, but not upside down. Now you can watch the liquid milk mixture turn into a salt. The salt mixture steals energy from the milk mixture, which is why the little molecules of milk start slowing down and locking into each other, making a solid. Now for the big reveal. Take out your bags and you just made your own ice cream. OMG, this tastes amazing. I'm going for it. Wow. 
Personally, that tastes way better homemade. That's actually really good. It's like vanilla. <laughs> Bam freeze. So which one of these DIYs was your favorite? Mine was the ice cream, I mean, Avi, but mine's all gone because I ate it all. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIYs every week. Till next time, hackers. Goldie Blocks, signing off. You know Pringles? They're delicious. Anyway, this next DIY is gonna be so smart because it uses the Pringles can when, when you're done eating all the Pringles. It's an excuse to eat chips. Coming from me, not a problem.